Meeple Nation Podcast, episode 494A. Bonus episode, Meeple Nation's overall top five showdown. Ready, fight. Welcome citizens to Meeple Nation. Grab your favorite beverage, pull up a chair, warm up those dice, and join us at the game table as we discuss board games and the board gaming world. Each week, the hosts of Meeple Nation share their love for board games and the amazing memories that come from playing games with some very outstanding people. Let us now join our hosts in their natural habitat, the game table. Meeple Nation is sponsored by GameToppersLLC.com. Dave, you gotta speak up. You can't be nervous, you just gotta do it. What was I? Because you're, you're being quieter than you normally talk. <laughs> He's trying to sneak up on that sponsorship. <laughs> Game toppers. Again. Yeah. <laughs> nope. You can do it. You know, it's funny. In our last episode, we didn't even actually explain that one. Everybody knows. Yeah, that's probably true. Good grief. <laughs> guys, 30 seconds, Dave. You guys all Not suck. 30 minutes. Everybody, <laughs> 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 Meeple Nation <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Meeple Nation podcast. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Meeple Nation podcast is sponsored by. <laughs> Meeple Nation podcast is sponsored by GameToppersLLC.com. Tell us more. We've been telling you about Game Toppers. LLC.com for several years now. I sure hope you've gone and checked out the website because there is so much good to see there. There are so many awesome tables, uh, table arrangements that you can that you can use. Set them on top of a table. Set them on top of an ottoman. Make any surface into your game surface and make any surface pop at Game Topple. At- <laughs> <laughs> At GameToppersLLC.com. You did it. <laughs> Welcome to Meeple Nation. We are your hosts. I'm Logan Howard. I'm Nathan Tenney. I'm Andy Holiday. I'm Douglas Stewart. I'm Nathan Howard. And I'm Dave Holiday. Please check out our website. We have so much going on. We got blogs. We got photos. You want to become a Patreon and become a Lord of Meeple Nation? Go to our Patreon and contribute Get that sweet bonus content. Just brag to your friends that, yes, I am a lord or lady of Meeple Nation. So this is bonus material, early access, for those who are of the Patreon level. The honorary lords. So those of you that are getting this bonus content ahead of time, thank you so much for your support. You're amazing. And we look forward to making more episodes like this. We're going to do one of these each month. You, as a patron, will have early access to it. Everybody else is going to have to wait for the episode to drop. Drop it like it's hot. Highlight this week for me. Last game night, we had to split our tables up a little bit. We had enough people to to split into two groups. Oldie, a classic out to the table. We busted out Puerto Rico. An oldie but a goodie. An oldie but a goodie. It was a good one. I have played this once with my girls, and they really enjoyed it. They both seemed very excited to play this again. For as old of a game as that is, it still blows me away how amazing and how fun it is. And it's simple, straightforward, right? The balance is great on it, and it was a lot of fun to play that with my with my daughters. One of my highlights, which I noticed it's one of Dave's as well, is Lords of Ragnarok. We got a chance to break that out. When I got my Kickstarter version... It was a spur of the moment from Doug. Hey, has anyone checked this out? And I added it to my cart without paying attention. Like, oh, okay, I'll I'll come back and read it later instead of just remind me two days before it ends or whatever. So it just charged me. The sun drop, totally worth it. Yeah, the, the plastic in that game is amazing. One of the Kickstarter exclusive characters, I guess I forgot to click sun drop on that. It is so apparent how amazing it is. Awakened Realms does a great job with, with their miniatures and their sun drop is always top notch. So that's not surprising. You're right, seeing that contrast between the, the sun drop version and the non sun dropped version, there's a huge difference. Break out a different game, you're like, oh yeah, I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Side by side, yes, it, amazing. You're right, this was one of my highlights. I had a lot of fun. By now, you probably all know new games are generally my 
my favorite game. Fun game. It's one definitely worth playing again just to see how it works out. There are some things that I liked, things that I didn't necessarily like, but it was enjoyable. One of those that I felt like we needed to we need to play again. I would like to fight more monsters. None of us really fought any of the monsters. I like the fact that you don't specifically need to do really any one thing. I mean, you kind of do, I guess, gaining territories with the area control aspect of it, but it would have been fun to have a little more monster interaction, I think. They just seemed really tough to defeat. This is one I'm really glad that you did pull the trigger on. I, I want to play it. I feel bad I missed that game night, but uh, I would love to get this one to the table again sometime. Oh, we definitely have to play with you, considering you're the only reason why any of us own it. <laughs> one of my recent highlights, so I actually just got on my doorstep a big box full of a game called Arkees. And I've mentioned this one before. I've kind of mentioned it to you guys. I've talked a little bit about this. This is a game that has seen some struggles from the time it was run on Kickstarter four years ago. So I backed this game in 2019. And of course, COVID happened. They got hit with a bunch of stuff. It just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. I just love the idea of this game. It's a dungeon crawl set in steampunk Egypt. Just seemed like it was going to be such a cool theme. It, it kind of had simpler mechanics. It seemed like one I could play with my kids. Four years later, it finally has shown up on the doorstep. So I went down, opened it up. This was, uh, I think, last Sunday. And I started doing, learning the rules, get it out kind of thing. It's one of those games that has like a, a tutorial mission. So it teaches you how to play as you just play the first mission of the game. Started playing it. After like the tutorial, I was like, okay, well, I'm uh, definitely playing the next one. And so I started playing that one and then Brigham came down and he was like, whoa, what is this game? This looks really cool. And so I kind of caught him up on the story and then he's like, yeah, I want to play this right now. I was like, okay, grab a character. So he, he grabbed character and we started with like mission. I was the third mission in, and then we played like five games straight. We're already halfway through the campaign in one day. That's just what we did. We sat down and played it for, for a whole day. But uh, this game is fantastic. It is definitely on the simpler side of things. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who are feel a little burned because of the delay in getting it out. But boy, I recommend if you get the opportunity to play this game, do. Because it's a really great setting. Just a phenomenally well done uh, little dungeon crawl. Sounds awesome. Recently, we got the opportunity to revisit Scythe. For me, anyways, it was a revisit. Ever since Greg has started to join our group, he's really wanted to play Scythe. Uh, we were going to play it, but we didn't want to play it without Doug. So we ended up playing it without Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Greg. We had the opportunity to play at Andy's house. We played Scythe. There was Dave, Richie, myself, Doug, and Logan the Younger. So as we were playing this, it quickly became, I don't want to sit next to Richie. Because Richie kept doing everything I wanted to do right before me, making it so my game just felt like I was just watching. <laughs> it was it was very frustrating. I would really like to try Scythe again because I really I did enjoy our experience. I enjoyed playing it again. I uh, enjoyed revisiting it. Uh, yeah, I don't want to sit next to Richie anymore because he's he's just mean. So you, you're <laughs> saying that you should have played it with Doug and Greg? Yes, I should have played it with Doug and Greg, and just not Richie. <laughs> <laughs> or Richie should just have not sat next to me. A couple of my highlights for the week. I'm not going to go off about them for too long, but um, I'm actually in town for a couple of family reunions. We had one a couple weeks ago. My wife's cousin is like super into board games, which is awesome. And so he wanted to do a board gaming tournament. Chose Formula D because I have a copy and he has a copy. We actually did a two night tournament of Formula D which was super fun, came down to the final game, uh, two games on the first night, and then we took the top three of both of those games and we did one game the final night. Came down to like the last corner. We had three people that were coming around that corner. One person was in fourth gear, the other two came around in fifth, and it just lined up perfectly to have one of those like photo finish type of endings and you know, in Formula D, it was just super fun. And then the other one was a game I have, well, I don't have it anymore, um, called Dungeon Roll. Um, I don't know if you guys have played it before, but it's a super fun little game, just a little dice roller game. You do take three delves into the dungeon, super fun. And one of my, I guess he's my great nephew. I played that game with him a couple of times. He's like 11 years old and he really loved it and just got into it. I was looking at my box and it was kind of getting hashed because of how I, how I brought it down here with me. I'm like, this is not going to survive the trip back to Washington. It's going to fall apart. So I just look at my, my little nephew and I'm like, hey, you want this? And he was ecstatic. He like walked around the rest of that day, just clutching that box to his nice. chest. It was awesome. 
That is awesome. That's how we get them started. First one's free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited. We'll go ahead and dive into our topic of, of the week here. So what we've done is we, uh, I, I recently introduced everyone to uh, an online website. It's called Pub Meeple. And it's a website that you can use for ranking uh, games. You can rank anything you want, but it was kind of specifically designed for games. And it's really cool. You can actually uh, import your BGG list if you would like and uh, do a full ranking of all of your games. But it uses an algorithm that compares games. And so it compares to and you pick which one you like better. And it makes a bunch of these comparisons at the end of all of these comparisons, you have a definitive list. So what we thought would be kind of fun is to do a little Meeple Nation showdown where we all put in our top fives, like our individual top five games, and then did kind of a at the table group collective pub Meeple showdown. We've got all those entered in for this episode, go one by one through the comparisons, and by the end, have a definitive Meeple Nation top five. So let's just get started, shall we? So let's go over what these games are real quick. Okay, yeah. So good idea, Nathan. This has them all list listed alphabetical. There were some crossovers. So there were at least three crossovers. So there are six of us at the table. We each brought five games. So you would think 30 total, but there were three crossovers. So the list consists of 27 games. So we've got 27 games. The app is going to, I think, run us through roughly about 71 comparisons. We'll try to get through them as fast as we can. So the games that are on the list, we've got A Feast for Odin, Aeon's End, Ark Nova, Arkham Horror, The Living Card Game, Attica, Call to Adventure, Catan, Charterstone, Chronicles of Crime, Clank Catacombs, Cthulhu Death May Die, Dead Reckoning, Descent, Journey in the Dark, 2nd Edition, Destinies, Dinogenics, Gloomhaven, Lost Cities Roll and Write, Mystic Veil, vale, Nemesis, Oathsworn Into the Deepwood, Planet Unknown, Seafall, Shadows of Brimstone, Star Wars Imperial Assault, Suburbia, Taverns of Tiefenthal, and Tiny Turbo Cars. Those are all of the games entering the arena. Who will emerge victorious? Shadows of Brimstone. Arkham Horror, the living card game. Are, are we talking about mon money spent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, then it's oh. Shadows of Brimstone. Yeah, it's got to be Shadows of Brimstone <laughs> if we're going there. <laughs> so with no further preamble, let the rankings begin. First up, we've got Ark Nova versus Seafall. Ark Nova. I've already clicked on it. Done it. <sighs> Do it. This is this one's too hard for me. These are both in my This is not hard at all. No. In my tops. Definitely Ark Nova. This is not hard at all. And I don't like either of these games very much. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was gonna say I haven't even played Ark Nova and I know which one wins. So for for Andy, it's a, it's actually which one is the one he hates the least. Yep. So Ark Nova. <laughs> this gets my vote. Done. Okay. Seafall. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this by majority vote, which we're going to just kind of do here at the table. We're not going to take time to tally them, you know, over the, the mics here. If we do have a, a hotly contested one, we will, or anyone who hasn't played it will have to um, remove themselves and then we'll go by majority vote. Can, can we do closed ballot though, though? No, I thought we were just no. going to go straight know, to the dice and so then we could gonna... dance and say that dice hate me when you lose. Logan's just going <laughs> to back up Andy, whatever Andy says, so... That's okay, point. Ark Nova so. over Seafall for sure. All right, there we go. Next up, we've got Lost Cities Roll and Write versus Gloomhaven. So it's kind of a tough thing because this is, I mean, these games are totally different times that you're going to be. So that's true. So as the list goes on, what's going to happen is the ones that are closer here toward the beginning, these decisions are going to be easier to make. And then as it gets toward the end, it's going to start comparing the ones that are a little closer in our minds. So, you know, to me, I mean, Lost Cities Roll and Write is fine, but Gloomhaven is Gloomhaven. Yeah, there's no question yeah. on this. No, one. you're right. Right. But but for, further in the list, Lost Cities will get compared to something a little more Lost Cities adjacent. It says I'm actually going through my whole library of games, actually games I've played, almost 7,000 comparisons. You just look at, okay, if I had the perfect number of people to play either game, which one would I rather play? And that's how I kind of base my opinion. But I did very similar. Gloomhaven, 100%, 100 for me. Yep, Gloomhaven. Okay. Gloomhaven it is. Love it. Next up, we've got Oathsworn, Into the Deepwood versus A Feast for Odin. <laughs> so uh, never mind. This, this is, is very difficult. You, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> both of these are, are on my top five. So these are both great. Feast of Odin. Oathsworn. Oathsworn. I think of these two, I would say Oathsworn as well. I'm going to go Feast for Odin this time. Okay. So I Tanny, I think it comes down to you. Well, this is really bad because I've never played either one of them. So Oathsworn takes it. Next up, we've got Chronicles of Crime versus Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny Turbo. 
chronicles the crime. Tiny Turbo Cars. I got to go Tiny Turbo also. I, the only time I played that one, I won. So it was pretty awesome. Okay. I think I would actually vote Chronicles of Crime on this one as much as I love Tiny Turbo Cars, but uh, I'm getting outvoted. So Tiny Turbo Cars, it is. Next up, we have Clank Catacombs versus Catan. Clank. Clank. Catan. No, man. I hate Clank with the fiery passion of a thousand <laughs> suns. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, that vote still only counts as Clank, one. Clank, like which Clank or all Clanks? Well, I've only played one. They've all got oh. the stink of clank on them. Which, to me. Oh. So which one did you not... Was it the original that you... It was the original. So I wasn't a huge fan of the original, but Clank Catacombs is in my top five. Clank Catacombs is amazing. And clank in space clank is so much will... better than Clank. Absolutely. All right. I'll have to give Clank Catacombs a try one of these days, but right and, now... And, 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 and Catan was, my number, was on my top five, so... Well, Clank, clank Legacy is phenomenal. Yes. So That's true. But yeah, Clank for me as well. All right. Clank it is. I'm clicking the button. Next up, we've got Arkham Horror, the living card game versus Call to Adventure. Arkham Horror. This one's easily Call to Adventure because I've never played Ar Arkham. Yeah, if you had, you, it's how you would vote, though. Yeah, Arkham for me. Oh, I'm actually on Call to Adventure. I just love that game. Even though I, I suck at it, I really enjoy it. Arkham Horror. Okay, that's at least four for Arkham, so I'm clicking on it. Call to Adventure is fantastic, but Arkham is amazing. I agree. Next up, Suburbia versus Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning for me as well. Dead Reckoning for me as well. Dead Reckoning. Suburbia was in my top five, and I still have to say Dead Reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. <laughs> dead Reckoning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Wow. <laughs> five okay. to I'm not sure. This, this next one will be interesting. We've got Planet Unknown versus Aeon's End. <sighs> Planet Unknown for me. Aeon's End is wonderful. I, it is. I'm going to say Aeon's End, however... I think once I play Planet Unknown with the alternate sides, yes, I think that would probably be enough yeah, to really yeah. tip it. Planet Unknown's awesome. I would agree with that, Dave. I loved Planet Unknown. We played with the asymmetrical playthrough of it, and ooh, it took it to a whole new level. It was it great. It was phenomenal. That expansion that is coming out soon looks really good, too. So, all right. Uh, I think that's enough votes for Planet Unknown. Right. Next up, we've got Nemesis versus Mystic Veil. Nemesis. Mystic Veil for me. I'm actually going to abstain. I have not played Nemesis, and I have only played Mystic Veil once. Nemesis. You oh, I'm, I'm on Mystic Veil. He wins at it all the time. <laughs> that's a tough one, considering my last game of Nemesis lasted 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough. I would have to say Nemesis. Yeah, I'm going with Nemesis. Yeah, that's at least three for Nemesis, yep. and Nemesis is, ha, takes it. Next up, Shadows of Brimstone versus Star Wars Imperial Assault. Star Wars Imperial Assault. Yeah, my vote is for Star Wars as well. And I love Shadows of Brimstone. Agreed. It's a great game. Shadows of Brimstone for me. Shadows. Oh, crap. Ah! I haven't played Star Wars, so I'm going Shadows. This is really hard for me. Shadows is not, it's like one of my least favorite of those styles of games. But every time I play Star Wars, it just... It's Star it's Wars. It's not Descent. I love Star Wars. It's awesome. I love though. Star Wars. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I want Descent. Um, <laughs> Descent does that game better. There's more options. There's more, just more stuff. Anyway. We actually have kind of an interesting situation here because we have three to three. We've got three oh, for Star Wars. We've got three for Shadows. Okay. And I think all of us have played both of these. Actually, remove my vote then because I have not played Star Wars. Oh, so Star Wars takes it. Okay. Wow. I like yeah. it. Surprises. We need to play more of it. Uh, Imperial Assault's awesome. And some of my favorite gaming memories were playing campaigns of Imperial Assault. I'm selling all my Sh Shadows of Brimstone stuff. No, now. you're not. Because Shadows <laughs> is awesome. Just because just one game takes it takes it over the other doesn't mean the other game's bad. These are all <laughs> great games. I'll give you 20 bucks for all your Shadows <gasps> stuff. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up, we've got Destinies versus Attica. Attica. Destinies. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> This is an easy one for me, Destinies. That is Destinies for me as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to be the sole Attica voter. Your 8,000 plays only got you the one vote too. Yep. Destinies is that three-player yes. game, the right? competitive, yeah. Man, I have a hard time with that one too. I think I might be Team Attica on this one. Sweet. That's two for Attica and I think four for Destinies. Is that correct? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I squandered my first turn of Attica, so I think that has to go down. Like, you know. Okay, Destinies is advancing. Sounds like you squandered your first vote for Attica, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we've got Ark Nova versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Oh, taverns, totally. Taverns for me as well. Ark Nova. I love Taverns, I but love it is Ark taverns. Nova for me. Yeah, I, Ark yeah. Nova is so good. Yeah, I'm in on Ark Nova. 
You're a traitor. Andy, maybe if you let me win it once in a while, I'd like it more. <laughs> okay, Doug, I'll go easy on you next time. <laughs> no, that, that's a really hard one because Taverns is a fantastic yeah, game. It's, really it's definitely up high, high, high on my list. But Okay, Arc so re- re- recap of the votes here. Ark Nova, Nathan? Taverns. Ark. Tavern. Ark. Taverns. So this one is oh, tied. Tied. And we, have, we've all played both of these? So yes. Where, where, where's the dice? So uh, the I dice don't think we need the dice. Somebody. Let's just ask the boss. Nathan, which one? Logan, uh-huh. have you played Ark Nova? Uh, no. Oh, his boat doesn't count. So I guess Ar- um, Ark Nova wins. Yeah. Ark Nova advances. Next up, we've got Seafall versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. I and threw up a little bit in my mouth until you said Taverns. Definitely Taverns <laughs> for me. Yeah. Seafall. You haven't played Seafall. Yeah, I played it once. Doesn't count. It was enough. Doesn't count. Yes, Seafall. it does. He, it totally counts. I haven't played Seafall either, so. Lucky. <laughs> I, I own it. It's still in shrink wrap. Me too. <laughs> okay, so that's a firm Such vote a of taverns for me. We've got two for Seafall over here. Taverns. And also taverns. Taverns yep. wins. Taverns wins. Boo. Next up, we've got Gloomhaven versus Dinogenics. Dinogenics for me. Gloomhaven for me. But I, I've never played Dino Jacks. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I, I know all of us have played a lot of Gloomhaven and it's a very beloved game. Uh, my vote is for Dino Genics. I think that's going to still put it at two to four. This is a tough one for me. Um, I really enjoyed Dino Genics, but I had a migraine when we played this. Yeah. And so my experience wasn't the greatest. So I'm going to have to go to Gloomhaven. See, and I, I like Gloomhaven, but for me, it's very one note. And I liked how Dinogenics was different. And so that's why it got the upvote for me. Nice. I think I'm going to have to pay attention to the games I haven't played on this list so that when we go to BGG Con this year, I have a list of things that I want to grab from the library. Totally. Because there's some great games on here. It's kind of a shame not all of us have played all of these. As it's a it's... shame that there's the most expensive games in Texas on this list, too. <laughs> <laughs> and like the most popular one that can be ever be checked out is on this list. So. Oh, big, trouble in little yeah, big trouble <laughs> shadows of brimstone because if you don't bring it back you get yelled at uh no dino genix is one that i really want to play but has to be gloomhaven for me because that's the only one i know okay so if my tally is right we've got gloomhaven at four dino genix at two yes okay. yes great next up we got lost cities roll and right versus dino genix again dino yeah that is for me as well lost cities i have played lost cities once or twice but i think i'm gonna go dino genix that you haven't played ever. <laughs> that makes <laughs> sense. Because I know I really, really want to play it. I don't care to ever play the other one. So to be fair, if you haven't played Dinogenics, then that fits on your number one favorite game. Totally. That's a cop out. But I would still say Dinogenics. Um, I, but I've never played Lost Cities. Okay. But, Dinogenics. But according to it. Dave, it sounds awesome. It, no, it, it is just, really good. I'm yeah, not, it's I'm great. just not a huge roll and write fan. I mean, I, there, I there are some that I've enjoyed, but they're just not high on my list. Well, um, I, I can totally see Nathan's love for this game. The last time we were at BriceCon, uh, we busted this out. I think you went through almost a whole pad of paper playing this yeah, just at the convention. And no, it was great. And the kids loved it. It was one that we got a lot of people involved in. It, Lost Cities Roll and Write is a legitimately very good game. It's very simple, Ac- but it's really good. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I haven't played it. I love Roll and Rights, so it's one I would definitely be interested in trying. All right, moving on. We got Oathsworn versus Charterstone. Easy. Oathsworn. Oathsworn for me, too. Oathsworn. I, I don't need to say anything, I'm sure. I haven't even <laughs> played Oathsworn, and I still would pick it. <laughs> I mean, I've only played Charterstone out of it. I'm still like almost undefeated in that game, so I have to vote for it. Two to four. I think we got Dave and Logan versus the rest of the table. All I know about Charterstone is Dave kept me from getting robots forever. I played Andy's style that way because that's what Andy did with us. All right. A Feast for Odin versus Charterstone. A Feast for Odin. Feast for me as well. Charterstone. Oh, wow. Charter. Feast. I think I'm a Feast for Odin. Ooh, good because that would have been a tie otherwise. So wow, that surprises I know. me. For Odin. I, it surprises me too. And I, and I might say differently tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> right? Like A Feast for Odin is still very new. For me, right, I'm still learning it and loving it. I love Charterstone. One of the things for me, a lot a lot of what I love about a game is other people's experience. I think that's part of the reason that Red Rising was so difficult for me, was because I wanted you guys to love that. And so why do you like Charterstone then? Because everybody loved it for quite a while. <laughs> Everyone loved it <laughs> until, until they, they became didn't. big whanny buds. <laughs> <laughs> everybody right. loved it until game two. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to be a little bit pushy about keeping the list moving here because we've got a lot to go through. Clank Catacombs versus Tiny Turbo Cars. Ouch. Tiny Turbo Cars. That's tough. That is Clank, really tough. Clank Catacombs, easy for Same. me. Same. Still on Team Tiny Turbo. Clank Catacombs. Man, I, I do love Tiny Turbo, but I got to say Clank as well. So I, Clank gets it. Next up, we've got Catan versus Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny, Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny Turbo Cars. Yeah. Oh, now this one's a tough for me. Tough one for me. That's already four to two. I know, so. but it's still a tough one for me. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> All right, Catan versus Chronicles of Crime. Chronicles. Chronicles for me as well. I actually don't really care for Catan. I really appreciate Catan and what it's done for the industry. I don't really care for Catan that much. I appreciate what Chronicles of Crime has done more for innovation of games. Catan. Well, so when I when I say Catan too, it's like not just the basic game, man. I love the Seafarers game and the, being able to do the exploration in that. Uh, that was so cool for me the first time we did that. I'm gonna go Catan as well. Okay, so we definitely have. So we've got at least three for Catan, and then Logan, how did you vote? Chronicles, and you were Chronicles. Chronicles as well. All right, so we've got a yeah, we've got a three to three. So we actually got a dice off because we've all played both of these games. Let me, let me ask you guys this right now. We're sitting down to game night. We've got Catan. We've got Chronicles of Crime on the table. Both of them sitting out here. Got the perfect player count for each one. You, we have to make a decision about which one we are in the mood to play right now. Is everyone's vote unchanged? Still the same. Same. Yep. Interesting. Roll the dice, Nathan. Okay. It's going to be determined by a roll of the dice. So odd is... Catan? Odd is Catan. Seven That's is the seven. number. All Catan right. wins. Catan takes it. That makes me sad, but I'll allow it. It makes All me right, sad that we we're saying Catan is too love craft. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, thank you, Logan. <laughs> you are not wrong. All right, we got a couple Lovecraftian games up next. We've got Arkham Horror, the living card game versus Cthulhu Death May Die. Oh, I'm totally Cthulhu Death May Die. Li- love that game. Living card game. Same, living card game. Living card game for me too. And Death May Die is fantastic. Death May Die. I haven't played the living card game and i really enjoyed death may die so that would have to be my vote which okay. would make it a tie which, which a means tie, so we we remove my vote right the card game has it so next up we have call to adventure versus cthulhu death may die call to adventure death may die death may die for me as well death may die team death may die here same it advances next up we've got planet unknown versus dead reckoning oh that one is hard that's that, tough that one is tough for me planet unknown Dead Reckoning. Mm. Dead Reckoning for me. I'm going Planet Unknown. Oh, my brain is short-circuiting. Now you know how Dave feels. Wow. <laughs> With planet every unknown versus decision dead in life. I think I'm Planet Unknown on this. I'm, I am. I, I, if I had to make a choice right now, I'd say Planet Unknown. I probably would too. Lazy Susan, Dave. But again. Lazy is, Susan. That's all you have is, to think uh, about. This is subject. Ask me again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I think Planet Unknown ekes it out barely. Next up, we've got Aeon's End versus Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. If I just say that, do we move on? Yes. That's, <laughs> yeah, I vote for that. Sorry, Tenny, you don't get a voice. All right. Aeon's End versus Suburbia. Aeon's End. Agreed. Suburbia. Yeah, as good as Aeon's End is, I've only played Suburbia once, but I really liked it a lot, and I have a, a lot of desire to play it again. I thought, for some reason, I thought your experience was not awesome. He destroyed No, I destroyed us. everybody. That's right. It was somebody else at the table that wasn't loving. <laughs> Andy uh, yeah. raises his hand. <laughs> yeah, these are both on my top five, but uh, Suburbia is definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going Suburbia. Suburbia as well. I think I'm Camp but Suburbia. I, I don't get two votes, Doug. He's running the computer. He gets two votes, Nathan. All right. <laughs> did, I, did, did, I say, did I say Aeon's End? No. No, you said you Suburbia, Suburbia first. Time. Twice. You tried to give it oh, two. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I see what you're saying. He gets two votes as long as he agrees with me. I get two votes as long as it was the majority before the second <laughs> vote. <laughs> so suburbia passes. Okay, next up, we've got Nemesis versus Descent Journeys in the Dark. Descent. That's not even a question. Descent. descent. Having not played Nemesis, my vote is Descent. Descent. Okay, Descent passes. That, that sounds unanimous, actually, because I'm going Descent also. That's like our first unanimous yeah. one, I believe. Yeah, yeah Nemesis awesome. is great, except it's like a lot of the same where Descent, the adventures, you just go up and down. There's options. All right, moving right along, we got Destinies versus Star Wars Imperial Assault. Star Wars for me. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Four? Yeah, I would have to agree. That's four. Destinies versus Shadows of Brimstone. Shadows, Shadows of Brimstone. Shadows. Yeah, it's got to be Shadows. Again. Shadows for me. Okay, Gloomhaven versus Ark Nova. Gloomhaven. Right now, it's Ark Nova. 
Gloomhaven's great, but we haven't played Gloomhaven in a long time, and I kind of felt like everybody was burnt out. That, that's exactly where I'm at. So Gloomhaven is a great game, but I am totally burnt out on it. And Ark Nova is still fresh and new. They've got a new expansion coming out that I'm excited for. My vote's definitely Ark Nova. Yeah, I've definitely played more Gloomhaven. There's more unknown for me for Ark Nova, and I really like that. Gloomhaven. Same, Andy. Okay. We got so a tie. we're three and three, three here. Three. I haven't played Ark. Take it out. Okay. And you voted for Gloomhaven? Yeah. Okay, so Ark Nova passes. Okay, Gloomhaven versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Gloomhaven. Taverns. That one's tough, too. Taverns for me. I feel so bad. I love Taverns so much, but I think every time it's been up, I've had to vote against it. Well, I'm voting Taverns. I think I have to go Gloomhaven on this one. Roll the die. Okay, it's a tie. Okay, so Nathan's okay. going to roll the dice, Gloom- and Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven is odd. Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven passes. Next up, we've got Dinogenics versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. I can finally vote for taverns. I'm taverns. so excited. Taverns for me as well. Taverns. Taverns. It's Dinogenics for me. It's taverns has it. True. Dinogenics versus Seafall. 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 Dino. 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 Based on the description, I would definitely probably pick Dino over Seafall. I don't okay. know what is the matter Buy with Buy a thread. Guys. Dino passes. Good Seafall taste. Seafall is such a good game. <laughs> All right. Lost Cities rolling right versus Seafall. Never played Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Lost Cities. (laughs) Oh, man. It's Lost Cities for me, too, so. I don't think Nathan gets a vote either, Nathan. Seafall. Is that four? We had four. Okay, four for Lost Cities. You said Lost Cities? Um, I didn't say anything because I haven't played either one of them. No, you didn't have four for Lost Cities because we were both Seafall over here. Right now I've got three and two. Lost Cities wins. Clank Catacombs versus Oathsworn. 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 Clank Catacombs. Oh. Clank Catacombs. I haven't played Oathsworn. Technically, I haven't played either one of them because you told me that Clank Catacombs is wildly different from Clank. I'm still picking Oathsworn. <laughs> All right, that's three and two. What you got, Dave? It is a very tough one. And I'm going to go Clank Catacombs. So that's a three to three tie. Nope. Throw my vote out because I haven't played either one of them. Oh, and you went Oathsworn? Okay, yes. Clank beats Oathsworn. That surprises me a lot, actually. Tiny Turbo Cars versus Oathsworn. 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 O- Oathsworn. Oathsworn. That's at least four. It advances. Tiny Turbo Cars versus A Feast for Odin. Tiny feast. Turbo Cars. A feast for me as well. Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny. Also tiny. What? Oh, wow. Okay. What? We need to introduce more of you to A Feast for Odin is what we for need to really? do. Oh, I've played. So Tiny Turbo Cars advances. Next up, wow. Catan versus A Feast for Odin. C- can we say Catan, please? A Feast for Odin. <laughs> Catan. <laughs> Wow. I think Nathan just did that to dig at Logan. That's my kind of father figure right there. (laughs) I would have to say a feast for Odin. Yeah, it's a feast for me as well. Okay, that's four for feast. By my count, Catan versus Charterstone. Catan. Charterstone. I'm going Catan. My vote is also Catan. Really? Yeah. Charterstone. That's a tie. And I think this one is a dice roller. Okay, Charterstone's on. No, Catan's actually, on. I've never played Charterstone, so my vote oh, doesn't count. Never mind. So Charterstone uh, takes so Charterstone it. Wins. Planet Unknown versus Arkham Horror, the living card game. Uh, living Planet card Unknown, game. Because I haven't played the other. Because you guys won't let me. That's a tough one. Just have to point that out. I'm leaning towards Planet Unknown. Planet Unknown versus Arkham Horror, the living card game. You guys suck. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm going Planet Unknown also. Okay, that should not exist. This oh, I'm throwing this list out. Actually, we're going to end the podcast there. <laughs> Until next week, everybody, we're done. Yeah, maybe you All should. All right, Planet be, Unknown. It advances. Allow me to play uh, the other game. And you guys are stupid. Dead Reckoning versus <laughs> Arkham Horror, the living card game. Ooh. Arkham. I have to go Dead Reckoning again. Arkham. 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 Okay, that's four. Dead Reckoning versus Cthulhu, Death May Die. Cthulhu. Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Cthulhu for me as well. I think I have to go Dead Reckoning on that one. Cthulhu. Ooh, Ty. Have you played them? Yes, I have. Everybody's played both. Dead Reckoning is odd. Six. Dead Reckoning loses. Okay, Cthulhu advances. Dead Reckoning versus Call to Adventure. Dead Reckoning. Dead, Dead Reckoning. Reckoning. Dead Reckoning for me. Dead Reckoning. Dead That's Reckoning boring. advances. Suburbia versus Call to Adventure. Suburbia. Call to Adventure. Call to Adventure. Call, Call to, to Adventure. Call to Adventure. That's at least four. Star Wars Imperial Assault versus Descent. 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 Star Wars. Star Wars. Weird. Descent. Also Descent. Did you really say Star Wars on that one, Doug? Yeah. I like Star Wars more than I like Descent. But Descent still took it. Star Wars versus Nemesis. Star Wars. Star Wars. Nemesis. Star Wars. I think I'm going Star Wars. That one's kind of tough. Mm, that is a tough one. We got three for Star Wars so far. One for Nemesis. Yeah, it's the Stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Dark Stormtroopers. <laughs> I'm yeah. still going to say Star Wars. 
That's enough. All right, that's enough. Star Wars advances. We got Shadows of Brimstone versus Nemesis. Shadows. Shadows. Yeah. Shadows. Yep, Shadows. Shadows advances. Destinies versus Nemesis. 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 Four. Okay, it's Destinies for me, but Nemesis advances. Destinies versus Mystic Veil. Destinies. 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 Mystic Veil. Gathering Nate's not a huge Destinies fan. Not really. (laughs) Well, I wonder why when the first time he played... Dave went around doing everything he wanted to do. Just before he could. I remember that now, actually. That seems to be a common theme. There's a common denominator, yes. (laughs) Nathan having somebody go before him? Yeah. Because it was Richie last time, right? Okay, so Um, once again, Destinies versus Mystic Veil. We've got uh, Destinies. Two for Destinies, and I think two for Mystic Veil. Destinies. Oh, you're Destinies. Okay, so that's three. Dave is the tiebreaker. I haven't played Destinies, so I'm Mystic Veil. I think I'm Mystic Veil. Okay, so then it's a tie. Then it, it goes well, to then, Destinies. Yeah, speech. Destinies gets it because I haven't played the other one. Right. Destinies advances. We got Attica versus Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil. Vale. Mystic Veil. Vale. Just move Attica. on. Mystic Veil. Vale. Just move on. Yep. I'm going to be the only <laughs> one going for Attica. <laughs> All right. Clink Catacombs versus Ark Nova. Clink Catacombs. Ark Nova. Ark Nova. Clink. Thank you, Nathan. Clink. Ark Nova. We got ourselves another tie. But again, I haven't played. No, he doesn't play Clink. Ah. Ah. Played Clink. And then I oh, haven't played Ark Nova, so roll the dice. Oh, oh yeah. No. It's two that have to go Arc out. Yep. So whatever I chose, it's going to be wrong. So Okay, so Catacombs takes it. Yep. Oathsworn versus Ark Nova. This one, this one is tough, but it's Ark, It's uh, uh, Oathsworn for me. Oathsworn. I think it's Ark Nova for me. I think that does it because I don't think. I haven't played Oathsworn. Yeah, and I haven't played either. So Oathsworn wins. Tiny Turbo Cars versus Arc Nova. Arc Nova. Arc Nova. Tiny Turbo. Tiny. Tiny. I'm going Arc. So it is a tie. <laughs> so okay. Arc wins. Tiny Turbo Cars versus Gloomhaven. Ooh. Tiny. Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. I'm going to go Tiny just because I'm burned out on Gloomhaven. Tiny because it's awesome. Tiny. Tiny Turbo four. wins. That's four for Tiny. Wow. Tiny overtook Gloomhaven. That's awesome. A Feast for Odin versus Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. Feast. Feast. Gloom. Gloom. Oh, it seems he's neat. That's three for Gloom, two for Feast. I mean, I'm Gloom, too. Gloom even wins. Feast for Odin versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Taverns. Feast. Feast. Taverns. Taverns. Taverns wins. That wow. makes me so sad. Seriously. A Feast for Odin versus Dinogenics. Feast. That's going to be a Feast for me as well. Dino. Dino. Vote. Well, I'm voting Feast. That makes it a tie, and then you throw Okay, ha- hands, up for, hands up for Feast. Oh, okay. Hands up for Feast. Okay, hands up for Dino. Okay, so it is a tie, and you haven't played either? These, no, Nathan I hasn't played, played either. either. The other oh, Nathan. Played. Okay, and you voted for which one? So it's still a tie. For Dinogenics. Dino. We go to uh, dice roll, and a one. Feast for Odin is odd. Feast for Odin. Okay. Get a new dice. It's been odd like every time. Charterstone oh. versus Dinogenics. 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 Charterstone. Charterstone. I gotta say Charterstone. I still haven't played Dinogenics, and I'm still voting for it over <laughs> Charterstone. <laughs> okay, that makes it a tie, so Charterstone takes it. Catan versus Dinogenics. Dinogenics. Dino. 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 All right. Dino takes it. Catan versus Lost City Roll and Write. Roll. Catan. Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Catan. Mm, I haven't played Lost Cities, uh, so I have to vote Catan. But then that ties it right, so I'm out. What did Logan vote? Roll and Write. Oh, yeah, he Lost oh, Cities. Okay, so it is a, so well, it is a tie. I, I would also be out because I haven't. I don't think I've played it as so I've thought about it more. Okay, so rolling right uh, passes, right? Lost mm-hmm. Cities. Catan versus Seafall. Catan. Seafall. Seafall. Easy. Catan. Catan. Anyone with good taste knows. That it's Catan, right? Yeah. Okay, Catan passes. Chronicles of Crime versus Seafall. Chronicles. Chronicles. Seafall. Seafall. Chronicles. Chronicles. Chronicles passes. Descent versus Planet Unknown. Descent. Descent. Planet. Descent. Descent. That's four. Yeah. Star Wars Imperial Assault versus Planet Unknown. Star uh, Wars. Star Wars. It's really yeah, it's tough. Star Wars. Um, I think I'm going to go Planet Unknown. Star Wars. All right, that's four that's for four. Star Wars. Shadows of Brimstone versus Planet Unknown. Planet Unknown. Planet Unknown. Planet Unknown. Shadows of Brimstone. Agreed up. Planet Unknown. Planet takes it. Shadows of Brimstone versus Arkham Horror, the living card game. Shadows. Arkham. Arkham. Shadows. I think I'm broken. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Is Tiny Towns on the table? Shadows. I got to go Shadows too. All right. Shadows takes it. You guys have really disappointed me with the Arkham Horror love. That was so hard for me. Uh, Nemesis versus Arkham Horror. Arkham. Arkham. There. Do you, do you feel better Nemesis. now? Yeah, that makes me feel a little bit better. Arkham. I'm also Arkham. Okay, that's four for Arkham. Nemesis versus Cthulhu Death May Die. 
Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Nemesis. I think I'm Cthulhu. Cthulhu. That's four. Nemesis versus Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Yeah, Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning. Dead Reckoning for me as well. Dead. Nemesis versus Call to Adventure. Ooh. Nemesis. 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 Call. I think I'm Call. I'm Call also. Okay, so I haven't played Nemesis. Okay, oh, that's just, so we have to remove that so Nemesis wins. Yep. Did you say Nemesis or did you say Call? He said Call to I Adventure. I said Call. Okay. Yep. All right, next up we've got Destinies versus Call to Adventure. Ooh. Call to Adventure. Destinies. Call to Adventure. I'm De- Call. Destinies for me. I'm going to say Call to Adventure. Wow, that makes it four, right? Wow, that does surprise me. Destinies versus Suburbia. Suburbia. Destinies. Suburbia. Destinies. Destinies. Suburbia. Oh, man. That, that okay, is, three to that's three. That's a tie. Has anybody not played any of these? Nope, we've all played. Actually, no, I don't think I played Destiny, so I'm, oh. I'm out. Okay, so Destiny takes wins. it. Uh, Mystic Veil vale versus Suburbia. 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 I was going to say, I think we're unanimous on that one. I yep. think so. Mystic Veil vale versus Aeon's End. Aeon's End. Yeah, Aeon's End. I'm going to go Aeon's End on that one. Aeon's End for me as well. Same. Descent versus Clank Catacombs. Descent. Descent. Clank. Descent. Descent. That's four. Star Wars Imperial Assault versus Clank Catacombs. Star Wars. Clank. Star Wars. Star Wars. Clank. I haven't played either one of them, but I'd go Star Wars over Clank. <laughs> Star Wars it is. Planet Unknown versus Clank Catacombs. Clank. Clank. That Clank. one is tough, but I'm Planet Unknown on this one. Planet Unknown. Is that three of us for Clank then? Yes. And then Nathan. And my vote will just get thrown out because I haven't played Clank. <laughs> <laughs> and he would vote Planet Unknown, which would tie it. So right. Clank wins. All right. Planet Unknown versus Oathsworn. 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 Yeah, I'm Oathsworn. Oathsworn, Oathsworn as well. Sworn. All right. Planet Unknown versus Ark Nova. Planet Unknown. Planet Unknown. Ark Nova. Ark what Nova. is wrong with you guys? Why are we doing this? <laughs> it's like you put Terraforming Mars on the list. So. I, it, it was supposed to be on there, but I know it would have happened. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This? Everyone kind of spoke at the same time, but I'm pretty sure that was two for Ark Nova and four for Planet Unknown. That's correct. All right. Planet Unknown advances. Shadows of Brimstone versus Ark Nova. Ark Nova. Ark Nova. Shadows. 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 That's four. That's four. You I've voted never, shadows on that, Nathan? Ah. I've never been around so many wrong people in my <laughs> yeah, whole life. For, for real. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, Arkham Horror, the living card game versus Ark Nova. Arkham. 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 Yeah, I'm with Arkham. Dave on this one. Ark Nova. Who, me? No, I said Ark Nova. Cthulhu Death May Die versus Ark Nova. Now Cthulhu. that now that one's going to be Cthulhu for me. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Death Arkham. May Die. Ark Nova. Okay, well, that's four Cthulhu. for Cthulhu. Five for Cthulhu. Dead Reckoning versus Ark Nova. Ark Dead Nova. Reckoning. Dead. dead Reckoning. Ark Nova for me. Dead Reckoning. I'm Dead Reckoning also. Four. Wow. All right. Nemesis versus Ark Nova. Ark. Ark. Nemesis. 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 I'm in on Ark too. I haven't played Nemesis though, so Ark gets tossed out. Yeah. Nemesis, Nemesis wins. wins. Call to Adventure versus Ark Nova. Call to Adventure. Call, Call to, to Adventure. adventure. <laughs> Call. Dave, <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's like one of the best games ever made. And it's already like on the top 10. It's like this universally beloved game. Right. And we got Meeple Nation just dragging it in through the mud. Well, All right. I, think, I, think that's actually, I think that's actually a tie because I'm going Ark Nova. Oh, is it really? Yes. Okay. So that's that means three for Ark, Ark Nova wins because three for call. I didn't want to play Ark Nova. Finally, a victory. Call to Adventure versus Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny Turbo Cars. Tiny, Tiny for Turbo me. Cars. Yeah, it takes it. Tiny. Call to Adventure versus Gloomhaven. 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 Yeah. Gloomhaven takes it. Call to Adventure versus the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Taverns. Taverns. Ooh. Call. Call to Adventure. Call. Okay, Call takes it. Call to Adventure versus A Feast for Odin. Feast. Call to Adventure. Call to Adventure. Call to Adventure. Dang it. You guys are voting down industry's best games. <laughs> it kills me. All are right. we? Well, yes, and you the are. thing that's crazy is that, like Call, they've put underneath so many other games that According I'm just like. According to the BGG <laughs> top 100, yes, 100%. All right, Destinies versus uh, Feast for Odin. Destinies. Feast. Feast. That's a tough one. Feast. Only, I've only played Feast once, and it wasn't, it was eh. I'm going to have to say Feast, though. Four for Feast. Destinies versus Charterstone. Destinies. Charterstone. Destinies. Charterstone. Destinies. I'm voting Destinies, and I haven't even played it. <laughs> Destinies takes it. Uh, suburbia versus Charterstone. Suburbia. <laughs> Charterstone. Charterstone. Doug didn't even get finished reading that one off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am Suburbia on this one. I think that's a three to three. I have not played Charterstone. 
Charterstone takes Suburbia. That's sad. Suburbia versus Dinogenics. Dinogenics. Suburbia. Dinogenics. Dinogenics. Suburbia. Dino wins. Suburbia versus Lost Cities Rolling Right. Suburbia. 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 Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Suburbia. That's four for Suburbia. Aeon's End versus Lost Cities. Aeon's End. Aeon's End. Yeah, I would agree with that. Aeon's End. Aeon's End. Mystic Veil versus Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Mystic Veil. Mystic Veil. Mystic Veil. Mystic Veil takes it. Attica versus Lost Cities. Attica. Attica. (laughs) That wasn't a pity vote at all. (laughs) Hey, I voted for Attica before as well. The little pat on Nathan's shoulder as Dave said that. (laughs) Lost Cities. Lost Cities. Uh, Yeah, of these two, I think I would rather play Lost Cities. Attica versus Catan. Attica. Catan. Catan. Attica. Catan. I think I'm going Catan. Catan takes it. Attica versus Chronicles of Crime. Attica. Attica. Chronicles. Chronicles. Attica. Chronicles. Okay, so we have a tie. But we're going to remove one Attica. We're going to remove one Attica, so Chronicles takes it. Attica versus Seafall. Attica. Seafall. Attica. Attica. Seafall. Wait, Nathan? All right, Attica. (laughs) Attica takes it. So that is the end of the vote. Number 27, Seafall. (laughs) <laughs> number Which 26 so attica <laughs> number 25 chronicles of crime number 24 Catan. number 23 lost cities roll and right number 22 mystic veil vale. number 21 aeon's end number 20 suburbia 19 is dinogenics number 18 is charter stone number 17 destinies Number 16. Number 16 is a feast for Odin. Holy Are cow. you kidding me? <laughs> All right. Uh, the nation has spoken. All right. Uh, number 15, Call to Adventure. There's no way Call to Adventure is better than a feast for Odin, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> number 14, The Taverns of Tiefenthal. Number 13, Gloomhaven. Number 12, Tiny Turbo Cars. Actually, considering the love this group has for tiny turbo cars, I'm a little surprised it wasn't it wasn't in the top ten. It speaks to the competition that it yeah, had. it's true. It feels like every time we voted for Nemesis, that it would have been lower on the list too. So I'm really actually kind of surprised about that. Number eleven was Arc Nova. Just we made it that high. <laughs> yeah, uh, it should have been way higher. It should have been way. It should have been probably close to. It should like have been the thirty one. And then number ten is Nemesis. Now wow. I haven't played Nemesis, and I want to like Nemesis. I bought all the nemesis stuff so i'm hoping that nemesis is that good uh so that gives me some hope number nine dead reckoning number eight cthulhu death may die number seven which should have been number one was arkham horror the living card game number six shadows of brimstone top five right here number five planet unknown number four oath sworn into the deep wood great game fantastic number three clank catacombs nice yes it's a good Des- game that was not surprising to me. well deserved yeah, it is, it is fantastic. Number two, Star Wars Imperial Assault. Wow. I'm really liking surprising. the number one right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I think I know what's coming. <laughs> yep, which leaves number one to the illustrious, the one, the only, Descent Journeys in the Dark. We do love this game a lot. It is fantastic. Such a good game. It's not even my favorite Descent game. That was fun. I like our top five. I know you guys was, don't, but I really like our top no, five. No, I like our top five. It's cool. It yeah, was it's fun. Game. The, the top five was actually pretty good. But then the next 10, I was like, what? All I know is that I've got a lot of work to do because I think I've only played one of the top five games. Wow, really? really? Which one? Descent. Descent. You haven't played Star Wars? I've not played Star Wars. You haven't played Catacombs. Haven't played you Catacombs. haven't played Oathsworn. You haven't played Planet Unknown? Oh, I'm sorry. Planet Unknown I have. Okay, That's so you've played like, I've two. played two of the five. We got to get those to the table then. I actually really like this. As you were saying, like Feast for Odin, BGG list, it's up there. But with Meeple Nation, head to head, we have other games that we preferred. I think that's really interesting. Well, I think part of that is, at least for me, um, I've only played a Feast for Odin once. I don't know. I guess I had mixed feelings about it. It was the same with Ark Nova. I've only played it once. Didn't super enjoy my experience. I don't know if that had to do with the teach. I just, it wasn't one that I was like itching to go back to. Both I need to play again. They may very well change my opinion on them. I know that, Doug, you kind of felt that way with Ark Nova when you first played it. So it's one that I should give a second or third look at. Formulate a a more well-rounded opinion of it, I guess. I think it'd be interesting to do this again down the road once people have played some of these more. 
both of those games, Ark and Feast for Odin. I knew from my initial play that they were going to be big on my list. More love for Ark Nova, more love for a Feast for Odin, more love for uh, Arkham Horror. Those were all on my top five. And I think a lot of it is just because you guys haven't played. I think, personally, it's just because a lot of you haven't played it or haven't played it very much. I think Nemesis is on the schedule for Friday now. Yeah, I'm in. We could I totally would, do I would that. Love that. It would be great if the game lasted longer than the setup and takedown. We'll try. Okay. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> I liked our top 10, honestly. I thought they all were fairly representative. I also, Doug, thought that, that Arkham Horror, living, the living card game, would be in the top five. So that did surprise me a little bit. They're all good. And honestly, given the pedigree of games that we have going, that we you know had going into the list to begin with, I mean, they're all great games. But any of them that made that top you know, 10 to 15, they're all superstars well, really most of them were great games. yeah 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 that i mean they're, yeah you're right you're there not wrong are a few <laughs> right there at the end that probably could just go away yeah yeah Arch Arch Nova. that last one sea fall <laughs> all right well that was the meeple nation top five showdown ready fight oh it already fought Never mind. <laughs> Go um, home, Seafall. No one likes you. I think all we did was just kind of prove that that app is broken. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Until next time. I think you're just broken. Until next time, we'll see you facing off against someone else's top five and see if you can beat out Seafall. Not hard. <laughs> as long as you beat out a Ark Nova, that's all that matters. Oh, shut up. Thank you for listening and being a part of Meeple Nation. If you would be so kind as to follow, subscribe, share, and rate or review this podcast, it really helps to spread the fun. You can be more involved in supporting the podcast by joining the nation at patreon.com slash Meeple Nation, or you can find a link at the top of our webpage, meeplenation.com. And while you're there, look at all our extra content. There are links to all our past episodes, a wide variety of blogs, pictures from our Instagram feed, and bios for all the hosts and our awesome bloggers. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all under Meeple Nation. If you would like to chat with the hosts or other members of the nation, you can join our Facebook group, Meeple Nation Off Air. We hope to see you again at a game night, a con, or maybe a suspense-driven evening of werewolf. Thank you for listening and supporting Meeple Nation, and stay tuned for next week's episode. Thank you so much for listening. We very much want to thank our patrons who help keep the podcast running. I personally want to thank my co-hosts for all the help they provide with both content here on the podcast in addition to what we have available on our website. Without them, the podcast would not happen. If you too would like to support the podcast, you can join the nation at patreon.com forward slash meeple underscore nation. Or you can find a link to Patreon at the top of our webpage, meeplenation.com. If you have any questions, comments, or games you feel should be on our radar, you can always reach us at meeplenation at gmail.com. We can't wait to hear from you. I am grateful to Doug and Andy who helped me edit episodes. And I want to thank James and Kim Clark who do the editing on our blogs and on our webpage, which can be found at meeplenation.com. We want to thank Brain Detergent for our music. If you want to find more from him, you can follow his links that can be found on our webpage or simply search for Brain Detergent on YouTube to find more of his tracks. Thank you again for listening and being part of the Meeple Nation community.